In this video, I want to discuss how to wire the HSRS controller into your existing HVAC system. The diagram shows a typical system with outdoor condensing unit and indoor evaporator unit and thermostat. Your first wiring consideration will be providing power for the controller. That will come from the air handler's 24 volts. Shown here by the red line, that's 24 volts AC, and the blue line, which is common. Both feed into the power converter, which provides 12 volts DC for powering the controller. The next consideration will be breaking the wire that feeds 24 volt power to the thermostat. You will cut and strip those two wires and connect them into the wiring terminal block at terminals 12 and 13, which represent common and normally closed of the relay. In my next diagram, we show the same wiring, but we've also included indicators that show where the wires connect. Terminals 12 and 13, as we mentioned, which is where the two exposed wires will attach that we've cut associated with the thermostat. We've also included the door window switches, wired door window switches, which can be applied to either wired or wireless controllers. The wireless controller can accept wired switches, wireless switches, or a combination of the two. A wired controller accepts only wired door switches. As shown here, your first door switch would wire into terminals 4 and 8 of the wiring block. Incidentally, terminal 1 of this block is, will be here and progresses all the way to terminal 14, which is the last terminal here. Your second switch would wire into terminals 5 and 9, and so on. Now, if you had less than four door switches, you would simply jump around the unused inputs. So if I had only one door switch, I would wire it into terminals 4 and 8, and then I would cut small wire jumpers for the remaining unused inputs. One jumper would be applied at from terminal 5 to 9, the next jumper at 6 to 10, and the last jumper 7 to 11. Now if you had more than four door switches, you could employ serial daisy chaining such that your switches would be wired in a large serial loop and your two exposed wires brought back to terminals 4 and 8. That would be a zone concept, zone 1 in this case. Zone 2, you could do this a similar thing, bringing back your return wires to 5 and 9, zone 3, and zone 4. In the case of the wireless controller, if you had no wired switches but only wireless, you would not need to employ jumpers. Instead, you could simply disable the wired inputs. That can be done by using the configuration dip switches, in particular uh, DSW1 switch number 8. Turning that switch on or flipping that switch on disables wired switch inputs. Therefore, you'd have no need for jumpers. For more information about the HSRS, contact catronics.com.